All right, so I've got the number two and seven tenths times six. Now remember, when I'm looking at something like this, I'm gonna take this decimal, I'm gonna pretend like it doesn't even exist while I'm working on the problem. So we're just gonna pretend like it's not there and we'll deal with it at the end. So, uh, six times seven is gonna be 42. Drop my two and I'll carry my four up. You should have done six times two next, which will give you 12, plus four more, which would give you 16. Now ladies and gentlemen, the actual math part is already done, so we don't have to do any more computation. All we need to do is figure out where this decimal point goes. And since I only have one digit behind the decimal point, or to the right of the decimal point, in my question, there's nothing with my six, just one digit in the tenth spot over here, I'm gonna leave just one digit to the right of my tenth, or my decimal point at the bottom. So it would be 16 and two tenths. Now we can double check this a little bit. Six times two would be 12, and six times three, which is where this number falls, right in between the two, six times three would be 18. Our number should be between 12 and 18, and as you can see, it is right in the middle. So there you go. That's how you would rock this guy out. Try the next one.